All right, hi students. Uh, this is a video for 8.2. Uh, we're going to get into angles uh, in standard position and a little bit of uh, drawing them and a little bit of uh, a little more of the radians. Uh, you saw radians a little bit in the um, the last uh, section. So let's take a look at this. The angle uh, in standard position concept is in the book. You can read it for yourself, but it gets kind of confusing. That's where this video hopes to pick up. So the main thing is uh, there's something called an initial side and a terminal side. And here's the main idea. Let me ask, let me put it this way. If I told you to draw a 70 degree angle, you could estimate what 70 degrees is. But different people might have yours facing different ways. One might have yours opening to the left, one might have them opening to the right. One might be pointing upwards, and one might be pointing downwards. We want some consistency, and that's where this notation comes in. So the definition here, uh, so some of the things are kind of confusing. When they say fixing one ray called the initial side and rotating the other ray called the terminal side. Uh, let's, let's, let's make that more basic. Let's take this angle here. That's 72 degrees. Okay, but you know, do we want it facing this way or this way or where, where, where is it on the page? That gets kind of confusing. So to make things a little easier, they said, well, when we graph things, we, we, we're in agreement that the x-axis goes positive. So well, this is what we call the initial side. And, oh, there it is. Now you can see it. If it said uh, rotate 72 degrees, you would rotate this direction up to about 72 degrees. We'll just estimate it. About 72 degrees right there. If you don't have a protractor, don't worry. You can download one. You can print one out. Uh, the main thing is know that straight up is 90. So this would be 90. And uh, so 72 is a little bit less than that. I'll say. Okay. So that's the initial side. This is called the terminal side. Now, uh, there's other ways you could do this. Um, you could also go negative 72 degrees. That's a weird thing over here. If you went negative 72 degrees, you'd be on the bottom side. So we sometimes the book will go positive, sometimes it will go negative. Okay, and it's just a direction thing. All right, so going positive is going around this way, and if you think about it, that's how we number the quadrants: one, two, three. Four, positive and negative. All right, so that's part one. The next thing is coterminal angles. Coterminal angles is kind of like your coworker. There are two things that uh, go together. Um, coterminal angles are two angles that end up at the same terminal side. So the best way to describe that would be, let's say, sixty degrees in the positive in, in the positive direction in the standard position would look like that. Coterminal says, how, how else could I get to 360? Sorry, how else could I get to 60 degrees? Well, think about 360 degrees in a uh, circle. So if I went around the back side, if they're 360 total, instead of going 60 this way, I could go around the back side and go negative 300 degrees. Okay, see if that makes sense. Because what I did is um, I went 60 and then I went backwards and I subtracted 360. And that gave us negative 300. Okay, because together both parts have to make up a total circle of 300 degrees. I'm oh, sorry, 360 degrees. So let's try that one more time. Let's say we're at 90. Okay, you can rotate 90 degrees this direction. Or negative 270 that direction. Okay, that would be negative 90, negative 180, negative 270. Okay. The other thing you can also do in this uh, case is you can go more than 360. You can go 400 degrees. All right, what? What would 400 degrees look like? Well, you go all the way around 360 plus an extra 40, and that would be 400 degrees. That would be, in, in standard position, we'd say 400 degrees is in quadrant one. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. That's about all we have for standard and terminal. So the other video will go back over radians, which is the next sort of thing in here. And between radians and standard position, it's a lot of new information. So it just takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Um, but you'll get used to it. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.